congratulations. This project's been around for a while for Casa Grande. How does it feel for being here finally for, to premiere Casa Grande on the red carpet? I am very proud to direct the show. I think it has a very positive message. And I'm also very proud to cast a lot of these Latino actors that are super talented. I know. How, how were you brought on board to this project? I mean, this is this is like a very long movie because I, I had to binge through all those episodes. Yes. Well, I read the screenplays, you know, and, and Lauren, the showrunner, I really like, I responded to the page. And then I did an interview with Ali, Lauren, Ava, the producers, and then they picked me. So I guess I was lucky. Oh, I show passion because I am passionate about this TV series, Casa Grande. Now tell us about telling the Latino stories, because this is a very important now these days, and more of these type of stories need to come out. Yeah, for example, I'm a Latina director. Latina directors in Hollywood are less than 1% when we are 18% of the population. The actors are about 4 or 5%, depending on movies. It's still not represented enough, so I am very proud of making that change. And uh, one more thing before I let you go, because I know this was a challenging shoot, because you had to shoot it during COVID, but not only that, you're shooting it in Napa Valley, on ranches, and a lot of time is at night. Yes, yes, that is true. A lot of night shoots, lots of pages a day, a big cast, and COVID, I was wearing a mask and a shield. I was washing my hands all the time. I had to be in my hotel room when I finished shooting. It was really, really tough. And the first day, someone got COVID. Oh. Yeah. So to be here celebrating without a mask is amazing. That is amazing. And it's amazing that you brought it here. Everyone's going to be excited for it. So thank you very much for bringing this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.